I've probably made more videos on Apple Notes than any other iPad or iPhone app, and for good reason. It's just an incredible tool for keeping track of and storing information. And since this is a native app, what you do with notes on your iPad shows up on your iPhone, and vice versa. In today's video, I cover five Apple Notes tips that are easy to learn and super useful. Hi, my name is Rich. I make simple videos like today's video on how to use your iPhone and iPad without, you know, going nuts. And I really don't cram a lot of information into any given video because it's just too easy to forget stuff. At least it is for me. But if easy to follow videos on how to use your iPhone and iPad sounds like something you might find helpful, please consider subscribing. Unlike every other subscription you have, subscribing to my channel is free. And thanks so much to everyone who has subscribed. Okay, today I'm going to show you how to create an index note with note linking, how to add collapsible headings in your notes to, you know, keep your notes clean, how to scan and add documents to a note. This is super helpful. How to add an Apple note to a reminder using Siri. Make sure you stick around for that one. And then how to add an Apple note to the Apple calendar. Okay, let's get started. Okay, the first thing I want to show you is just how to create a note index, or at least what I call a note index. If we go into Apple Notes, I've created a note called Note Index, and I want to link other notes in this. So I'm going to just go here, and if you tap on the Numbers key, and then this little key right here, and then you'd see this carrot. If you tap on that twice, all of a sudden, all your notes show up. And so I'm going to tap Furniture Project because I want to link to that. I think I'll add another note in here too. So we'll do the same thing again. Tap on that, tap on that, another two carrots, and maybe I'll add the Med Visit right there. And then we'll call that done. And so now I have a note index, and you can put as many links in here as you want to maybe all of your notes. Maybe you want to just keep an index of everything you have. But if you see here, I now have a link to these notes. So if I just tap on Furniture Project, it takes me over to the Furniture Project. Now, there's no way in here to get back to the note index unless I create a link back but I really don't want to do that. I can see the note index up here, so I'm just going to tap on it. Same thing with MedVisit. Takes me down to that note. It's got kind of a lot of information in it, and I see note index here. But if you have a lot of notes, that note index may get lost somewhere. So the best way to keep that at the top is simply to slide over and pin it. And now the note index will always stay in the pinned list at the top in the list of your notes over here. And that's a good way to do that. But it's really simple, and that's how you create a note index. The next thing I want to show you is how to create collapsible headings. So if I go into my furniture project note, I've got a lot of information here. And sometimes my notes, like this knee visit, man, they get really long over here. And you want to kind of clean this up. Well, it's pretty simple to do. If you tap somewhere in your note above the text, tap the little text icon up here, I'm going to choose a subheading. And then I'll just type, uh, since this is all about my wood, I'm going to type wood. And now I'm done. And if you notice, it's created a little carrot right there, if you can see it. And if I tap on that, it collapses everything underneath, just like that. However, I happen to have some information about finishing supplies down here. So I think I'm going to just add another heading. And if I go in there and I do the same thing, I'll call it a subheading and we'll just type finish. supplies like that. Now we have another little carrot here and the one that we have up here. When you tap on wood it doesn't collapse everything. It just collapses what's underneath the next heading. 
And that is how you create collapsible headings. It's a great way to keep notes clean. Okay, the next thing I want to talk to you about is how to scan a document and add it to a note. This has been around for a while, but it's one of those things that sort of falls off the radar if you don't use it. So I have my furniture project here, and I made a little drawing of the table I want to build. And I want to add that drawing to this note. So I'm going to go over here and I'm going to tap on the little uh, paper clip and I'm going to tap scan document and that opens up the camera and so now I'm just going to scan that document. There and it automatically scans it. I'm going to tap the little check mark that it's done and now the scan document is in my note just like that so I have all the information about the project and I have my drawing in there and of course if you don't want to see the drawing you can tap on the little carrot and view as small and it makes it small now if I'm in another note I don't know maybe a packing list you can actually search for that document that I just scanned so I know it was table dimensions so I'm just going to type in table and see what happens and there you have it. it takes me right to the to the document and I can open it up just like that so if your handwriting is neat enough uh, Apple Notes recognizes the text and you can actually search by handwritten text even in a scanned document and that's really handy okay so the next thing I want to talk to you about is a really cool trick uh, of how to add a note to Apple Reminders. So I have a long list of stuff here and if I have to go to Home Depot to buy that I don't really want to have to type all this out somewhere in a reminder and then pull it up on my phone when I'm home at Home Depot to find it. What you can do is if you're in a note you can just activate Siri and I'm going to do that by pressing the button here. Remind me of this note And there you can see it was added to Reminders. And now, if I go over to Reminders and I'm at Home Depot, you can see right there is the note. And if I tap on the little note icon, it takes me back to the note where I have the whole list. And you can do that on your phone. So if you're at Home Depot with your phone and you go to Reminders, I'll go over here to my reminders. There's the furniture project and I can tap on it and it takes me right back to the note. So now I can just walk through Home Depot and pick up all my supplies. And all I had to do was just ask Siri to remind me. So that was really handy. Okay, the last thing I want to talk about is just how to add a note to Apple Calendar. Now this is not as easy as adding a note to reminders and this is one of those things that you kind of forget. But if you can remember this process, it really is helpful. So I've got a note here about knee pain. I'm going to have to go to the doctor and have my knee looked at. So I did some research and I made a note on it. And I have some things in here that I'd like to have in my hand to be able to talk to my physician. So if you go to your note like this and you just go to the share button up here at the top, I'm going to click on share. Then I'm going to just scroll over till I see invite with link so I'm going to tap on that and you need to and create the link and I'm going to add myself to it like that and I'm going to tap share link and if you'll notice nothing happened it just took you back to the note but what it actually happened in the background is it copied the link to this note so now if I go over to my calendar app and I see my medical appointment here that I've already made, it's on the calendar for 145. If I go into the edit field and I go down to the URL section down here at the bottom and I tap and hold and just tap paste and then tap the little check mark. Now I've added a link to that note and if I have my phone at the doctor's office because I'm not going to take my iPad 
but I can tap on the calendar. I can find the appointment right there and I've got a link to the note. I can just tap on it and it takes me over to the note. And now I can ask my doctor about this and I can continue taking notes of whatever he uh, tells me when I'm there for my visit. And that's a way to add an Apple note to a calendar event. Not the simplest thing in the world, but if you can remember it, it's super handy. Well, there you have it. Five really useful Apple Notes tips. And even if you only remember a couple of them, especially that Siri tip, then this video is worth your time. Okay, that's it for today. Thanks so much for watching. And as always, I'll see you in the next video.